I'd like to say I was drunk when I ordered it, but I wasn't. This is a Radjet Ultra, as you can see, because it says there on the box. There. Now I've already opened it, already unpackaged it. Now the first thing that I've noticed with these things is, if you can see, yeah, you can see it. This comes off isn't very good so I'm going to have to glue that down and some it's just falling out, I don't know what it is. Let's go there. So anyway, no blah blah, top piece, motor. Now this thing is apparently, apparently it'll do 100 miles an hour on 4S but I don't know. So what I've got is a 64mm EDF. Because the place that I fly, um, there are there is actually houses by it. Um, the standard motor is you know it's, it just bloody screams. So I've decided I'm going to fit that on it. It's got about was it 1.4 kilo of thrust? I think it is on a plane that only weighs about 700 grams. <laughs> So there you go. Now I've already taken the uh, the top of the canopy, um, which is this bit here, because I'm going to put a camera on it. So I'm going to use it for FPV. That goes on there. Now I'm also um, I'm going to fit a nase in it. So with this, I'm going to fit a nase to it. I'm going to fit a minimum OSD to it whenever I can bloody find it. Don't know where it is. I'm going to fit the nase there, like there. No, there, like that. Exactly that, like that. So I'm going to fit a nase in it somewhere. I'm going to put the micro minimum OSD on when I can find them. I know I bought some more. And we'll see how it goes. This is the ESC that you get with the uh, fun... Uh, what's it called? Oh... Bradjet. Anyway, I've noticed on here that it's the Atmel 8 chip. So, I'm going to flash it. I always do. Yeah, with my tool, my USB, ASP, and cable and everything. So I'm going to flush it with BL Heli. Um, yeah. First off, I've had to fit the EDF. Um, now this. EDF, although it says it'll accept 64mm, I think it was, uh, it didn't quite fit properly. It wouldn't go down far enough. So what I've had to do is just get the back end of the knife and just push the foam in, just so as it uh, goes down a bit further, because it is a bit too big for it, but you know. Um, as you can see, I've wired the um, ESC up, which I'm actually using the Hobby King, is it a 70 amp? I think it's a 70 amp or maybe an 80 amp ESC. Uh, I've measured the wires for the battery, and at all stages while I'm doing this, I'm measuring the the CG, um, putting the wings on and everything else, and just making sure it's got the correct CG. Now what I've got to do is so that fits on there. I can just about see the ESC there, so I think I'm going to I'm going to um, cut a, a piece of this out so as I can get some more air to the ESC, and also get a bit of air going in here uh, because that's actually touching the ESC now. So I think I might cut it back to there. So that's that done. The GPS is actually fitted in place, and I've routed the wires. 
so that comes out there so it's all going well for once as you've already seen the EDF's already in nice and uh, I've used epoxy on that don't know why anyway uh, the cowling on the back I've put in uh, which I've actually used the where's that bloody glow gone where is it found it I've used the um, glue that came with my Sky Hunter or Skywalker or something like that it's uh, I don't like it because it stinks but I've used that on the back on the cowling so what I've done here is um, I've taken out the motor obviously and just left the cowl in there it's just for strengthening this back piece rather than anything now that will go in there and I'm actually I'm in two minds on what to do with this um, I think I don't know. I think I'll, I'll put the clips on, but I'll put some tape around here to hold it in because it doesn't doesn't seem to hold very well. And obviously, I don't want it coming off because the vertical stabilizers or winglets or whatever. You, no, vertical stabilizers go in there. So I think I'll I may tape the edges to sort of semi permanent fixture, I suppose. Is that square? Yeah. So I think I'll do that. So what I'm going to do next is glue these uh, vertical stabilizers on. I, I don't really like that. That's all that's holding it on is just that little bit. I may put some carbon rod through there just to reinforce it a bit. I don't like that. On these fins, um, as you can see, I put some uh, carbon dowels in there. Is that what they're called? Anyway, I'll cut put some pieces of carbon, and that slots in there. Be a lot stronger, and it's still square. I hope. <laughs> so I'm going to do that with the other one, and then I can glue them in place. The vertical stabilizers are fitted. As you can see, there's a bit of a gap, and I think that's only because that piece there for the EDF is actually a bit too. I need to cut some off the top across the ridge here, or wherever it is. So that's done. Yeah, I've got to cut a bit out of here, or, or try and I've, I've tried to score it to make the hole bigger. Just, just as a word, just as a side note, um, I've just noticed that the the Zeta um, Ultra Z or Ultra Z, whichever country you're living in, it's virtually identical, but they're at a slight the the, the stabilizer fins are at a slight angle. So there you go, just if you want to know that. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I really haven't got a clue. I think I'm going to start fitting the nays in it, and I don't know where I'm going to put it. The CG line's about here, roughly. No, hang on. Sorry, the CG line about there. So I think I'll fit that somewhere in there. I don't know yet. Minimo SD Micro. I'm going to put that in. Um, got to put a U back in, which I'll put my uh, filter on there. Um, what else am I going to use? Uh, X6R, I think that is. I'll take it off that piece of crap. Absolute crap. SP F3 Mini. What a pile of crap. So yeah, I've got to use that. Um, VTX. 
BTX is going to be this one. These things for the for the price, they are absolutely fantastic little pieces of kit. Uh, apart from having the wrong polarity um, SMA on them uh, for fat sharks, so I have to I just unsolder that and replace it. Apart from that, I really can't fault them. I think I've, I've used this in virtually everything I've got that runs on 5.8 now. Looking at this, I think I'm going to leave that as it is. There's very, very little clearance there, but all the, every bit of air is going to go straight over that heat sink, so I would have thought uh, that's going to be enough cooling for it. So, yeah, I think I'll, I'll leave that there. Perfect. I've got a piece of plywood which I've cut out, which is going to fit there somewhere. Um, so what I've decided is the nose is going to fit there. Obviously it's facing the wrong way so I'm going to have to set the rotation to plus 180 or negative 180 whichever. The receiver I'm going to put there and the minimo SD I think I'm going to put there. Or I might, I don't know yet, I might put that there. Like that. Um, the antennas obviously are going to fit onto there. Get that the right way or put the LED on it that way. So I think I'll put it that way. Now this hole here, this is going to be for the um, ESC to come through for the power to the nase and everything else. And this one here is going to be for the GPS. So I'm going to attach these now and then I can wire it up as it is and then when the GPS and everything else is threaded through I can solder those up. A lot of people actually connect this to the TX and RX in the middle of the board um, but the only trouble is to use the USB then you have to disconnect this because otherwise it interferes with the USB. Anyway. So what I do is, the GPS, um, I've wired that up so I've got a positive and negative tap coming off here. If I zoom in. So I've got a positive and negative tap coming off one of these ports. It doesn't matter where you take it from. And then I've got the receive, um, the receive pin off the GPS to pin 3 on here. And the transmit pin to pin 4 which is underneath. So they're identified pin 3 and pin 4 is underneath. So then what I use is to get this working as well as the U uh, um, USB I use soft serial. So I'll show you I'll wire it up, make sure it bloody works first because otherwise if I do it now it won't. So I'll make sure it works first and then I'll tell you how to do it. I'm going to try and explain how I wire up the GPS and the Minimo SD onto the nays and also you can plug your um, USB into it without it being affected. Now 99.9% .9 of the time what people do is they plug that or they plug that into the TXRX pins on the nays in the middle there but that is shared with the USB port. So what I do is I use the GPS on UART 2 and the Minimo SD I put onto Soft Serial 2 just because it's easier to remember, no other reason. So the GPS goes to UART 2 which is pins number 3 and pin number 4. Pin number 3 is on the top, pin number 4 is on the bottom there. So RX and TX goes to 3 and 4 off your GPS and then on the Minimo SD I've got pins RX and TX or TX RX whichever they go onto pin number 7 and number 8 
It's the odd, that, that's actually the identifier pins, the, the pin location number is different. But anyway, that makes it easier to remember. Then what you have to do in clean flight, you have to enable um, on soft serial, if you're using any soft serial ports um, for the minimum OSD, you have to enable MSP and set the board rate to 19200 because anything over 19200 is a bit iffy I suppose on the Nase Rev 6 uh, 5 so set it to 19200 and then you have to change on MWOSD which is the one that I use you have to change the board rate to 19200 by changing you just take out a couple of comments um, or a comment in your, your definitions um, if you do a search for serial speed settings, I think it is, it just tells you what board rate. And then you flash the minimum OSD with 19200. And that is how you get it working, so as you can use the USB, you can use everything as normal. You don't have to unplug anything. That's the way I use it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Well, I'd like to say, did <laughs> bollocks. This, as you can see, is a Radjet Ultra. Now, oh, f dickhead. Um, when I can find a fuse large. So I'm going to get rid of this f box. Jesus. So with this, I'm going to fit a lucky yeah. um, What I've had to do is, I've had now, as you've already seen the BDFs. So what I've done is. What have I done?